Go ahead, Captain. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Keno Thomas with Keno Training Systems, and today I would like to introduce you to the simulation for the Bell 206 helicopter. Um, today we're going to be covering basic controls and flight maneuvers. So, um, just to jump right in, for all my Army, uh, SIFT, United States Army uh, Warrant Officer candidates, um, the first thing we're going to cover are basic flight controls, and they are as follows. First, we have a cyclic stick, which I'm moving now. The cyclic stick can move forward, backwards, right, and left as I'm doing. Forward, backwards, right, and, I'm sorry, left and right. Uh, if we push the stick forward, the helicopter will pitch forward. If we pull it back, the helicopter will pitch nose up. We can bank right and we can bank left, uh, just like an airplane. But the lift is kind of um, presented in a different way. Instead of wings, we have a main rotor. Uh, so this is the cyclic stick. We have the anti-torque pedals that counteract the torque. As this main ro rotor is spinning, it causes torque. All right, so for every fo force is an equal opposite force. So as this main rotor moves counterclockwise, there's a, I'm sorry, as it moves counterclockwise, there's going to be a clockwise reaction. So the tail is going to want to go clockwise, but the anti-torque pedals compensate for that main rotor. So what we could do is we could hit the left anti-torque pedal or the right anti-torque pedal to counteract that. And then finally we have a collective. Uh, let's uh, lower that. We can we can uh, bring it down or we can pull it up. All right. As we pull the collective up, what happens in that case is the the uh, collective pitch of the main rotor actually changes. All right. And um, this helps us leave the ground. So as we pull up, um, we go into a, um, a well, do we call it a climb? Uh, we, we bring ourselves into a hover. All right, so uh, that's going to be my short little video. Anti-torque pedals, cyclic, and the collective. Uh, and down. So we we'll get the uh, up, down, up, down. All right, that's collective. Okay, so let's uh, just do a basic. Do a basic uh, take off and a little bit of uh, maneuvering. We get this puppy started. Okay, so we're going to leave the anti torque pedals in the neutral position and the cyclic stick in the neutral position. What we're going to do is we're going to slowly raise the collective, and the main the main rotor is going to produce more and more thrust until we get ourselves. Now, so we're going to start pulling up, and you can see the collective slowly coming up. And let's go to. Our regular cockpit mode so we can actually see what's going on. Let's bring the collective all the way back down and now what we're going to do we're slowly going to raise the collective. Now, as we do that we can see our RPM our torque percentage coming up and let's see here. See slight movement and like I told you, 
the main rotor is moving counterclockwise so the tail and the nose want to move clockwise and you can see small changes if you look at the big H at the hollow pad um, so as we increase the collective we're gonna have to add a little bit of left pedal to counteract that Okay. Right. As we do this, the torque is really trying to get us going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tilt the nose forward a little bit and add some more collective. Get ourselves going. We can slowly see our airspeed beginning to build up and our altimeter to register a climb. We're 200 feet above the ground right now and pitch up a little bit. I'm going to go to virtual cockpit alright there we go I can still see the airspeed I can see the altitude now what I could do to build our airspeed is just tilt the nose forward with the cyclic controller so this will be level, pretty much level pitch if we look at our attitude indicator and we'll start slowing down. We'll pull it up just a little bit higher, we'll really start slowing down. And I'm going to take uh, some of this collective, I'm going to lower the collective a little bit. Alright, so our speed's coming down. And let's uh, go to our lock spot view. Alright, and that's us. So we have our anti torque rotor, or tail rotor, the main rotor. Do some thrusts, and we're just buzzing around. Alright. Now, when we want to increase airspeed, we just tilt, we'll push forward on the collective, I'm sorry, on the cyclic stick right there I'm pushing forward on that and we just start building up airspeed we'll get ourselves over the Delaware River And right here is the Calvin Street Bridge. This is the Delaware River. This is New Jersey. This is Pennsylvania. The Morrisville area. And we have Route 1 in the uh, Trenton Makes the World Takes Bridge. Coming up next. Check that out. That looks like the uh, state house. We're going to do more videos and get more into uh, helicopter instruments down the road, but for right now our focus is just on the three basic, the anti-torque pedals, the cyclic stick, which we're moving now, and the collective. Uh, I won't move that around because we're actually using it right now.
Okay, so that's pretty much it, our basic uh, flight controls, the cyclic stick, the collective, and the anti-torque rudder pedals. Um, and I think I'll just stop it right there, there's really not much to see, we covered that, and we'll go more depth in uh, further videos, but this is for all my SIFT United States Army SIFT uh, applicants. So thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, or concerns, uh, just leave a leave a, a message in the comments. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys again soon on our next uh, SIFT video. Thanks for watching Kino Training Systems. This is Kino Thomas signing out. Take care.